And at this point, the room did get the go-no-go -no -go and the pole going affirmative. And Dragon now departing that 250-meter hold point. So now it's going to continue to close in. Uh, pretty soon, we'll actually be inside the capture window. Um, but it's now going to continue pressing in until it gets to about 30 meters away from the International Space Station. It'll once again do a hold, and they'll do a check out of all of the navigational uh, and approach equipment just to make sure everything is functioning as it should be. And then once that's confirmed, they'll give it another go, and then it'll move into that final capture point. That again will be about 10 meters away from the station, at which point Mark Vandehei, the prime for capture this morning, will be able to reach out with the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm and grapple the Dragon. Dragon continuing to close in. Uh, Dragon and the International Space Station about to make a pass over South America. Meanwhile, still seeing clouds and the blue waters of the Pacific Ocean in the background. The uncrewed spacecraft packed with about 4,800 pounds of supplies, science experiments, and different payloads and vehicle hardware. Uh, some of the other payloads on board uh, include one from a commercial company, a number of commercial companies flying research to the International Space Station via the National Lab, which is managed by CASIS, the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space, opening up the resources on board the International Space Station for commercial companies, academia, and other government agencies to fly their own research in microgravity on board the space station. Uh, just one such research project coming up uh, from the company Maiden Space, who already has facilities on board the International Space Station testing 3D printing in microgravity, is actually going to be looking at doing a little bit of manufacturing in microgravity. Uh, this one will be the optical fiber production in microgravity, actually looking at producing fiber optic cables in microgravity. They'll attempt to pull fiber optic wire from something known as Z-Blan, which is a heavy metal fluoride glass, which is commonly used here on Earth to make fiber optic glass. Now, fiber optics used, obviously, in a lot of uh, broadband applications delivering high-speed Internet. Uh, and research has indicated that uh, this fiber being created in microgravity might not crystallize as much, so actually might give it a much better optical quality uh, than what we're able to get down here on the ground. So that could lead to a much higher quality fiber optic cable being produced in space for use in space, but also more importantly back down here on the Earth, delivering faster speeds uh, and other things of that nature. So very exciting uh, test that's going to be carried out over the next several weeks on board the station. And that payload on Dragon just hopefully about an hour away from being captured. And Dragon just passed 50 meters away from the space station, so just about 20 to go until we're at that next hold point, that 30 meter um, milestone. Once it arrives there, they'll stop and then once again pull the teams, make sure everything checks out well with the Dragon before giving it the go to depart and head towards the final capture point, which will be just about 10 meters away and allow the crew members to reach out with the Canada Arm 2 arm and grapple with the Dragon vehicle. So continuing to move in, 47 meters in closing. Right now, the crew going through all of their final checks. Very shortly, the robotic arm will start driving forward. Mark Van de Heijen, the NASA astronaut, at the controls. And there's that initial contact. 
and the snares closed. So capture confirmed 4.57 a.m. Central Time, 5.57 a.m. Eastern, while the station flew just between Australia and Papua New Guinea in an altitude of 252 statute miles. And we're back with this HD view of Dragon still attached to the end of the Canadarm2 robotic arm. It was captured just about two hours ago by NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei, who was primed for the capture. Since then, ground controllers have maneuvered Dragon to where it now resides, just a meter and a half away from its final berthing port. And with the exercise on board now complete, we should be able to put that constraint in place and then begin moving Dragon in. SpaceX's 13th resupply mission installed now to the International Space Station.